Chan. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about manual expression. And today, I'm going to be using a little ball. Actually, wait, no. I'm going to be using a little ball. That's more comparable, I guess. <laughs> so, manual expression. Let's say that you already had your baby, okay? So, you can start by using a warm compress or you can just gently massage it in circles. Um, and you don't wanna use anything that's too hot. Skin's very sensitive. Um, if it's something that is rather warm, you should definitely put a barrier in between. Um, but you're just gonna, bless you, you're just going to massage it just to get the breast warm and the milk going. And you just do little circles. We're gonna say that this hole right here that you probably can't even see is the nipple. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna choose this one <laughs> just because it's easier. So all right here, okay? So we're just gonna massage circles around the breast, okay? And then once you feel it's all warmed up, okay? A lot of people, including myself, sometimes will think that they are moving the milk to the front, so they do this. And for me, mentally, I always paint myself a mental picture of everything, and honestly, that's what I still do. But the thing is you can actually hurt yourself doing it that way. So you have to be very careful because breast tissue is very sensitive. So what you're going to do, I love my nipple. We're gonna say this is a nipple. So you're massaging, everything's warm, blah, 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 blah. Okay, imagine how does baby latch on? As wide as possible, right? So take your hand, doesn't matter which hand, the hand opposite of the one holding the ball. Make a C and then you're just literally gonna go around the nipple. A lot of people think that they have to pinch the nipple. That is going to cause a lot of pain and discomfort. Go just a little bit wider, okay? Just like that. So you're going to make your seat and you're gonna push inward towards your body. Like that. So you're pushing down and also towards yourself. Basically what you're doing is you're mimicking the motions of the baby's mouth. So, like that. And as you need to, you can rotate. Now here's the thing. If your body is not used to doing it, it's very possible that you may not get anything out or it might take a little bit more work. Some people, like myself, if I just do it sometimes, I will get a little bit, but not anywhere near as much as I would have gotten had I done a manual pump, like a regular Medela Harmony or anything like that. Um, so again, you're just gonna do that. I always recommend, if you can, um, just use gravity. You know, whether you're leaning over or if you're on all fours, if you're comfortable that way anyway, um, I really recommend that because gravity is working with you and I just feel like it's less hard. So like even if I'm making um, the oatmeal cereal for babies, I will literally just get one of those little cups that some people use for ice cream, like little circle, circular glass cups, and I will just lean over and again, you're just going to make a C and you're going towards yourself, but you're also squeezing. So you're doing both. And then you can kind of go in a circle and don't forget, you know, it's not just here, it's all the way around. So when I'm doing circles, I'm making sure I go all the way around. If you need to stop doing it this way for a few, it's okay. You can go ahead and, you know, do your circles all around the breast and then try again. Try pushing from different areas. If this is your nipple, just do gentle circles. There's all kinds of milk ducts in there. And then a C with your hand it can be upside down C, it can be this way. Honestly, it's just whatever is most comfortable for you. And actually your partner can do it too, as long as they're not too rough, because it's easier when you do it yourself because you know what hurts and you know what doesn't, and you don't want to be too rough, because trust me, you will be sore. <laughs> you, will, you will definitely feel it later. You'll be like, oh man, I knew I was going a little too rough with that. After you express from the breast, you'll want to store it in the fridge. I believe you can store it up to 48 hours before you need to toss it, unless you plan on freezing it. It seems quite simple, but if you're not used to doing it, Getting the right technique down will be difficult. 
I'm on baby number four, technically number three because our number three was an angel baby, but it is our fourth child. Um, but to me, like I can do it, but I just feel like it just doesn't come naturally, you know? But at least I know the technique now. I know what I should and should not be doing. But like I said, even though it's not recommended, I still definitely push towards the nipple. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm used to popping pimples. <laughs> And I just feel like, you know, you're moving everything towards the center, obviously, it's gonna come out somehow. But that's really the whole reason why you're doing these gentle massaging circles. So if you want, like I said, you can have a partner help you at least to do the massage part. And then whenever you are ready, you can just go ahead and express it yourself. That way you know if you're doing it too hard or too soft or just right. And this is an excellent way also, you know, if you do this after you nurse, um, just to try to build up a little bit extra supply because your breast will produce on demand. So the more that you use, whether it be by nursing, pumping, manual pump, um, the Haka or Nature Bomb version of the Haka, anything like that, you are telling your body to produce more. So it should help your supply. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Touch the little bell so that you can receive notifications for future videos. And please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Today we are going to be talking about, ouch. Today we are going to be talking about,